there are more than 1,500 active volcanoes scattered across the world. Most volcanoes form at the boundaries of Earth's tectonic plates, both on land and in the oceans. Around 500 million people live close to an active volcano. When a volcano erupts, nearby areas could be covered with ash, pyroclastic flow, and red-hot lava. Homes and buildings risk being buried. Poisonous gases, clouds of glowing ash, or mud flow could kill everyone in their path. Fortunately, satellites orbiting above us can monitor volcanoes. They can provide real-time data on volcanic activity and can even help disaster response efforts post-eruption. Satellite data can be used to detect the early signs of eruptions, including color changes in crater lakes or ice melting on ice-capped volcanoes. Once an eruption has started, Optical satellites such as Copernicus Sentinel-2 can capture lava flows, landslides, and map the extent of volcanic ash deposits. Infrared data can help identify other features of volcanic activity which are invisible to the eye. They can sense thermal emissions of high temperatures, hot lava rising to the surface, and new cracks in the volcano's slopes. Radar satellites, such as Copernicus Sentinel-1, offer a different perspective. Signals scattered back to the satellite's sensor contain complex surface information, which can map changes to the volcano's shape. Interferograms compare data from multiple radar acquisitions and allow scientists to map ground displacement. Satellites also provide information on how much the ground lifts or sinks. Atmospheric sensors, including the TROPOMI instrument on Copernicus Sentinel-5P, can identify the gases and aerosols released into the air after an eruption, as well as quantify their wider environmental impact. 